Hey, what's up and welcome to a new video about uh, anti-theft detection for sailboats and camper vans. So how do we do that? We will use a GPS mouse uh, to get the position of our boat or camper van. Um, for example, after the microcomputer is turned on because of turning on the engine. The microcomputer can be a Raspberry Pi or a Pi Zero and it can detect if the camper van, the boat is moving. And it can send out the uh, GPS information using internet and an SMS provider uh, which uh, offers an API to send SMS to our mobile phone. And getting an internet connection, this is something we will not cover today, but we did this already using, for example, a thumb drive which has LTE or whatsoever available, but there are many ways, of course, to get internet on your device. All right, let's put the things together and start. Okay, so first... Uh, what I did forget to mention is that we're using Node-RED for the programming. And I did a lot of Node-RED tutorials, so we will not uh, bother you today with installation. If you need uh, some help, go to my other tutorials or the Node-RED homepage. We will go straight into the realization and programming. Okay, so first thing is that we want to access our GPS um, mouse and for that we need the serial in. On a Raspberry this is available straight away. If you have a Windows system you need to go to the palette and install the serial palette um, from Node-RED. So this is the serial port here, Node-RED Node serial port. This is quite easy. The only thing you can ch uh, choose here is the COM port. Um, if you work on a Raspberry, you can see here already the definition. And I did a tutorial. I will link this tutorial how to access the different USBs on the C uh, on a, on a Raspberry um, using Raspbian. But what we did is, and well, what we do in this case is we take Compton, or we can create a new one that you can see this. In this case, I, I simply uh, need to select the serial port. I'll go for search and it will only find, I'm now on a Windows system, COM10. And you can keep all other things as default. So I did this already, so I can pick this one, but it's the same, yeah? So you see it's COM10 and all the defaults. Okay, and then you have your COM port ready and you can just check this by setting a debug node, deploying this and take a look at the debug node and you see already you get a lot of data. Why do you get so many data? Because the serial device here, so our GPS, is sending several commands and um, we don't need them all. And you can see that you can't read them because they look like a mirror. And that's right, this is a mirror style. So you need to install again a node and this is the Enmir node. When you look for this, it's the only Enmir, if you can spell it correctly, node you will find. So this one here. Um, and it is parsing the Enmir data. So if we place this now between our uh, debug node and our serial port, and we deploy again and let's stop here then you see a lot of data again but this time we can read it in its uh, JSON format so perfect and um, you can see what you will get here on which kind of, kind of commands uh, GGA and so these are different sentences you can find this in the internet so we did this in one video already that we uh, took a look at the Enmir sentences structure of Enmir 0183 and this is in the OpenCPN uh, manual. And what you will find here is also what kind of sentences we will get like GGA global positioning system fixed data where you find your real position. The Again a different positions how many satellites in view let's take this one GSV. We look for GSV and here is one and you see I have four satellites and then can see the different satellites which are currently uh, in view of my GPS device. So that's how this is working but in this case we will just take one. We just need 
And let's go for GLL, so for the geographic uh, position, latitude, longitude, because this is what we want to know. We want to know where our boat is or our camper van or whatsoever. And let's take for this a simple switch note. And we just say the payload, and in this case the sentence, must be equal to, uh, what did we want, GLL. Okay, turn on our debug node and let's see what happens. Nothing. Yeah, because sentence again. Now we get all uh, sentences with the GLL uh, tag through but we don't get the other ones. And you can see currently I don't have any latitude and longitude because my mouse has no uh, no direct uh, view on the sky, so this comes later, but we can use for this for debugging still. Okay, so we get our position and the only thing we need is a text to send this position. And let's create a function and this function starts with a little variable, which I will copy now because this is the default link for Google Maps. Let's put this in. So this is the Google Maps search and then the API query string. And now you can place latitude and longitude after this. So we need now latitude and longitude. Um, we can get this from our payload because our payload will contain this. So latitude, longitude. And now we just put the pieces together. So we, um, yeah, let's, we keep the text variable and say, okay, our new text is text. So what we had before, plus latitude, plus, and now it's separated with a comma, plus longitude. And let's define our payload as the text. So it should be empty currently because I have no direct sight, but let's check this and we call this GLL filter because um, oh, it's, it's the filter as before, right? So this is rather the, uh, the SMS text. Let's call it like this. And here we go. So we get our query string currently with the empty latitude and longitude, but this will come later as soon as uh, we get a direct sight to the sky. So this is already working. But now we get a lot of messages. So I will put a delay note in. Um, let's assume we want that our boat after the power is turned on, maybe the engine or something where the Raspberry is connected to. Then let's say we want to get every hour one message with the position and he can delete all messages which are in between. So that is our delay node here or let's say one message per hour. You can do this however you want to do this, you know. So there are several ways. This is just one idea now that we don't get a lot of SMS out when we will debug. We should get now one per hour. So uh, if this was correct, yes. So after deployment, we should get one. And now after one hour, we should get the next one. Okay, now you have to install another uh, palette and this is the Nexmo or well, you can also use a different one if you find one but I used the Nexmo um, palette which can send SMS if you have an account. Um, you get a lot of uh, notes here because you are able to play audio, you are able to make remote calls and so on. The only thing we want to do is now to send an SMS. This is this note. And when you directly connect this now, and this is set up properly, um, you get an SMS. So I already defined one uh, code here where you can see I have an API key and API secret. And then 
you can put in any number. Yeah, so for blah, 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 you can uh, put in uh, a sender and a text. Yeah, for example, I don't know, for example, we want to put in our payload directly now. So that's how we get um, the text which we have created. Um, this is Nexmo, um, but it's now renamed and it's called Vonage or Vonage, I don't know. And this is their site and you see already the communications API login. So you can register and for free you get two euros. You can see I already used some up for some tries. And here you find your account and your API key and also your API secret. And with these two credentials, um, you can set up your SMS code here, connect. And when you deploy, we get this, but I don't want to get this now. Let's make a little test in a second. Okay, give it a try. So I connected the SMS and let's assume our boat got stolen. He's turning on the engine and we get each our one SMS. Let's take a look. So it's sent and I receive from Surreal SMS. And if I click on the link which we have created, I can see, oh, there it is. Somebody took my boat to Berlin somewhere, to the Havel. And let's call the police because I don't go there without any help. Okay, uh, yeah, how do you use this? You can, of course, do fine tuning on the software by, for example, detecting a movement and you just want to send out information if there is a distance higher than x kilometers um, you can make a disarm switch by a button and if this is pressed or a switch which you can uh, put to the other position and if this is done uh, you will not send out any sms or whatsoever you can put this on a ui and, and make a soft key there at the end it's, it's always the same yeah it's just about sending the position wire an existing uh, provider to your mobile phone. But it's quite simple, it's useful, and I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did so, leave a thumb up. I'm happy to see this. Of course, if you didn't subscribe so far, subscribe. Um, and yeah, see you next time. See you next time.